Hi everyone, welcome back to Pete's Garage. Now today we're gonna to answer a question that people ask me all the time. Do you really need an expensive air compressor and spray gun to paint your car? Now before we get started, I have to admit, you guys are incredibly observant. I had no idea how much people pay attention to the surroundings around me. Whenever I film and, and make a video, people are always looking in the background and asking me all sorts of questions, like what was that on your car or what was that hanging there? And, and from my last video, I got some texts and emails asking me, what's this black thing hanging off your cabinet? The things that are stuck to the cabinet, those are the magnetic socket straps that I, I got from socket straps, but they're asking me, what is that black thing hanging in, what's that black thing hanging on your cabinet? Well, this is a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, and the reason it's hanging in my garage is because I had one from a real, uh, real popular name brand company and I used to take the auto shows with me. I just throw it in the back when I have, have when I had a cruise night or something like that. I just have a speaker playing some music, that kind of stuff. And it got a little wet and it shorted out, it didn't work anymore. So I got this new one. This is this is a uh, the uh, FX100 from Tree Lab. I'm gonna put a description to this. Uh, I'll put the link to this product in the in the description of the video. Uh, and I got this for several reasons. One because it's, uh, it's water resistant. It's not gonna uh, short out or it's not gonna go bad when it gets wet. But there are a lot of other features that make it great too. So it's Bluetooth and it hooks up to your phone. And the reason I like this is because if someone calls you on your phone, there's a button here. You just press the button, it answers the call and you can talk via your phone. You can hear it through the speaker. And not only that, it is water, not waterproof, but it's water resistant so you can't drop it in water. But it's got a bunch of inputs in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to turn it on here, um, and it tells you, first of all, it tells you how much is powered up, which I really like about it, and it has the USB input, which is the charging jack, but it also has this output, so you can plug, you can take your cord, turn it around, and use this as a battery, which is really handy, so if your phone's about to, uh, about to die, you just plug in your USB cable, and you can charge your phone right from the speaker that you're playing music on from your phone. But anyway, this thing can last up to 35 hours, which is really cool. It has that uh, um, feature for answering the phone, and it looks nice. It's rubber, it's very well protected, it's uh, pretty rugged. That's why I got it, and people were asking me, so I figured I'd share that with you. Now let's talk about paint. So painting your car without a compressor, an expensive spray gun. If you're gonna buy a decent compressor, it's gonna run you four or 500 bucks, and a decent spray gun, at least 150, around that, maybe 200 bucks. So you're already talking about seven, $800 to buy a compressor and a gun to paint your car. And I never thought I'd be talking about this, but battery powered spray gun. And this is different. This, this one is made by Lathelli. And, and again, I'll put a description to this product or the link to this in the description of the video. This is a 20 volt uh, spray gun. It's a battery powered spray gun. Uh, the compressor is built right into the head and this thing's about a hundred bucks. So hundred versus 700. Not a bad trade-off. So if you're only gonna paint something once or you wanna paint something far away from your compressor or you need to paint something, maybe it's far away from your uh, garage and you wanna paint it, this, this'll work. So anyway, uh, this thing uh, I got from Lathelli and yeah, you can use it to, I've used it to spray, I actually use it to spray part of my deck, uh, fence. You can use it to spray outdoor furniture. I tried that with latex, enamels, urethanes. Uh, it comes with a bunch of tips for different size spray patterns. You can adjust it. The compressor's built right in, so when you pull the trigger, compressor turns on, you get the spray, you can feel the air, you get different air patterns you can get out of here, and um, it's pretty neat. Now, you would think it's heavy, but I'll tell you, when you have a gun in your hand, if I had an HVLP gun with the hose on it, it's almost the same weight, to tell you the truth. It's fairly light, and it's pretty well balanced. But the answer, the answer to the question, the question really is, can you use it to paint car parts? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna spray a, a, a trunk. I just have a, happen to have a trunk from a, a trunk lid from a 69 Mustang. I'm just gonna put some automotive paint and see if you can get a quality finish using a battery powered sprayer. So I had my trunk lid, I sprayed on a coat of white primer, sanded it down, wet sanded it with 400 grit sandpaper. Then I cleaned it off with some prep ball, make sure it was nice and clean and tacked it off with a tack cloth. First, I started with a coat of Nason sealer. Then I sprayed on a coat of black base. Finally, a couple coats of clear. 
Okay, so I'd like to give you my best impression of this gun. I'm sorry I don't do impressions. My training is in psychiatry. But since I don't do impressions, I'll just tell you what I think. First of all, it did produce a decent result. It's very easy to use and very easy to spray. Now, if you didn't notice, go back and take a look at when I was spraying the black and the clear. Uh, when anything I sprayed, there is very little overspray. Now, I use the white tip, which is a 1.5 tip, uh, so it's a little heavy on the fluid. I think if, I, if they had a smaller tip, like maybe a 1.2, 1.3, you could probably get a finer mist, and the clear would lay down better, less orange peel, but I am, I am painting on a day where it's very warm and extremely humid, which doesn't help. So it did spray decently. I like it, less overspray. Like I said, light, very easy to maneuver. The fan was fairly large. It produced about, I'll say, 8 to 10 inch spray pattern. Very easy to clean. Uh, all the components held up very well to lacquer thinner and the acetone based or ketone based cleaners. Nothing dissolved. It worked very well. Very easy to clean up. I mean, this, this whole thing comes apart and all these parts come apart very, very quick. So it's easy to clean up. Um, the tip, like I said, a couple adjustments for spray pattern. Pretty easy and you can rotate it just like a regular spray gun. Everything is identical to a regular spray gun except for the compressors here. Uh, there is a limiter. You can you can screw in the limiter for the needle, how much fluid you pull back. Now the needle inside is not very fine. So when you pull it back, you don't have a much control on initial pullback. So if you're trying to control the fluid, you're not going to do it very, very fine control with the needle. You might be able to play around with that, fix that a little bit. Um, but like I said, very easy to use. In the back there's a filter. So if you can imagine you're spraying, there's overspraying the air this has got to suck air in the back there's a filter in the back here that's replaceable in case this gets clogged uh, but I, I think it's pretty good I like it now if I were going to spray like a frame outside uh, if I was going to spray a heavy material like if you're going to spray undercoating or if you're familiar with chip guard or if I'm going to be spraying something like uh, a bed liner that kind of stuff I think this thing would work excellent. It worked excellent with latex when I was spraying latex and enamels on like fences. It's great for stain. If you're going to stain a deck, this, this thing would make your job so much easier or a fence, whatever, outside. Uh, excellent tool. Uh, the battery. The battery does have a life indicator on the back. Like most night, uh, nightcap batteries, this is a uh, lithium ion battery and it's very, very light. The battery comes off, of course. Battery comes off, comes with a charger, very, very light. The battery, according to the instructions, will last about 20 minutes of spraying. So if you're going to paint a whole car, you need a couple batteries to make it through the whole job. I can absolutely see using this if you're going to be spraying like acrylic enamels, two-part enamels, uh, heavier paints, traditional paints, and um, I, I think it will work very, very well for those things. I was using a base coat clear which is a thinner material. It's not as viscous as, as a, an enamel would be. But when I did use it for thicker materials, it worked great. So uh, check, out the, um, check out the link and check out the product. I think, I'll tell you, for 100 bucks, this thing is really, really neat. It does a great job. And I think around the house, you'll find many, many uses for it. Uh, I've already used it a ton. And it's, like, it looks brand new, right? I've already sprayed black paint through here. Uh, I had sprayed some stain through here. And it's very easy to clean. It stays very, very clean, which is really important, right? Easy to clean. So check it out. Thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.